And now the Provost and Senior Vice President, the University Leadership Council, members of the Board of Trustees, the honorary degree recipients, and the commencement speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, the 22nd President of Marquette University, the Reverend Robert A. Wilde of the Society of Jesus. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing following the singing of our national anthem by the Marquette Gospel Choir while Reverend James Flaherty of the Society of Jesus pronounces the invocation. Let us pray. Compassionate and ever-living God, we give you thanks as we gather on this most important day in our academic year, a day in which we celebrate the achievements of all those receiving Marquette degrees. 
We applaud their efforts and their success. We thank you for the faithful and distinguished service rendered to our human community by those awarded honorary degrees. We pray, O oh gracious God, that you continue to bless them, their families, and those they serve. We ask you to embolden and enlighten those who receive graduate and undergraduate degrees on this day. May their Marquette experience enable them to go forth into the world as men and women for others, those who will make a concrete difference in the communities to which they belong. We pray for our world, especially in those parts that continue to suffer the ravages of hunger, disease, war, and poverty. We remember those most seriously affected by our global economic recession. May we do all within our power to lessen the burdens our fellow human beings bear. We give you thanks for those who have played a central and supporting role in the academic journey of our graduates-to-be, especially their parents, family members, and close friends. Finally, we ask your blessing upon all those who contribute to the mission of Marquette University, whether as trustees, alumni, benefactors, students, faculty, staff, or administrators, those engaged in the common pursuit of faith, leadership, excellence, and service. Let this day be a day of remembrance, of giving thanks, and above all, of setting forth into a future alive with hope. And to this prayer, we respond, amen. Please be seated. Good morning. I am Provost John Pauley, and I will be your master of ceremonies for today's uh, celebration. It is, my, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you to Marquette University's 128th commencement exercises. Today, we honor our 2,426 graduating students, many of whom are with us today. These individuals come to us from 45 states and 18 countries. Today's beautiful ceremony, marked with pageantry and ritual, expresses symbolically the actual granting of the degree to each graduate. This occurs when the president, acting on behalf of the Board of Trustees, approves in writing the name submitted to him by the deans of the various schools and colleges of the university. That action is confirmed to and is recorded on the diploma, which is issued later to each graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my deep privilege to present the 22nd president of Marquette University, Reverend Robert A. Wild of the Society of Jesus. The primary purpose of this ceremony is to honor you, the graduating class of 2009, and to honor as well the accomplishments that brought you here today. Among the ways that we will honor you is to include in this year's class, your class, uh, four individuals who will receive honorary degrees. In the judgment of Marquette University, these distinguished individuals have taught in an exemplary manner by the concrete example of their lives. We present them to you as living illustrations of the principles of intellectual and moral excellence that your university proclaims. If I get the right page here, <laughs> there we go. Indifferent but uh, 
in uniformly impressive careers, they have excelled, they have mastered, they have taken the gifts God has provided and brought them to fruition, a completion much too rare in this imperfect world. We salute them for their achievements, which have truly benefited the common good. We thank them for helping us to honor you, and we commend them to you as models for your own growth and reflection. You, the students of 2009, are most precious in our eyes to show special appreciation. Each honorary degree recipient will be accompanied to center stage by a student from the graduating class. Dr. Toby Peters, Associate Senior Vice President. Reverend President, I hereby commend to you and to our graduates, Sister Maria Rosa Lego from the School Sisters of St. Francis, accompanied by Mr. Tony Gazzardo, degree candidate, Bachelor of Science, College of Nursing. Sister Maria Rosa is a humble servant of God who over the past 50 years has raised and educated more than 40,000 Honduran orphans. After joining the School Sisters of St. Francis here in Milwaukee in 1949, she returned to her Honduran homeland to help others. As a young nun, Sister was assigned to work in a hospital in Tegucigalpa where she comforted sick and dying patients. As an orphan herself, she understood the difficulties faced by poor young children in the capital city, especially those whose parents had been incarcerated. At that time, whole families were thrown into prison together, leaving children devoid of any education or normal opportunities for socialization. They were also exposed to all manner of abuse. It was then that Sister Maria Rosa realized that she would have to be the one to provide the needed love and care for these children. She founded the Sociedad Amigos de los Niños organization and she set to work. Today she houses 625 children at four sites, providing not just a roof over their head or hot meals, but an education along with the love and care that enables these children to have the opportunity to live life fully. Her goal has been and always will be to help young people become responsible, self-supporting citizens. Sister Maria Rosa has also served as a catalyst for many programs that assist the people of Honduras, including founding a chain of 86 free health care clinics across the country to provide basic health care services to rural and low-income Hondurans. She has created a training center for young Honduran girls, as well as a live and learn farm for the boys from deeply impoverished rural communities. With professional assistance from the organization known as Global Brigades, Sister Maria Rosa's mobile medical clinics serve the health care needs of thousands of people across Honduras. Additionally, through her inspiration, numerous water, public health, and micro-business projects have been undertaken in that country. Marquette University was the first of what are now 80 universities helping to support these efforts. More than 200 Marquette students and medical professionals have participated in Sister's various programs. For her extraordinary acts of compassion, for being an inspiration to people all over the world, and for exemplifying the spirit of Magis by being a woman for others. Reverend President, it is my pleasure, it is truly my great pleasure to recommend Sister Maria Rosa Lego of the School Sisters of St. Francis for the Marquette University degree of Doctor of Humane 
letters, honoris causa. Candidates for the honorary doctorates, please stand as Father Wilde announces your name as your degree is conferred upon you. Frank Pusilaki, Clifford Christians, Dick Engberg, and Sister Maria Rosa Legol, by the power vested in me by the state of Wisconsin and the trustees of Marquette University, I confer upon you the degrees of Doctor of Laws, Doctor of Letters, and Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa. Thank you, God bless all of you, terrific people.